All right, guys, we got the foundry loaded up in the truck. We're gonna go try to find an anthill again. I know this is the video you've been waiting for. I haven't done an anthill in forever, but sometimes they're difficult to find. This time we've got permission from the city mayor and the chief of police to go out here to the uh, middle of nowhere on one of the government buildings and see what we can't uh, set on fire. We'll see how it turns out. Very careful process of unloading the truck. Yes. So even though we've got a mass of cans, we we'll start with some motorcycle parts, foot peg, brake handle, and a sprue from one of my skulls. I'll sit on top, melt down, and then I'll pull the can back out. It should give me a nice base of aluminum to start melting the cans with. Through the magic of editing that was only a matter of seconds, it's actually been about 40 minutes or so worth of uh, running the foundry there to get it hot enough to melt the aluminum out of that can. But you know, as you can see here, it's all gone now. So we put the lid back on it and start the mind-numbingly entertaining process of putting can after can after can after can into the foundry to melt. Once I've got a good amount of molten aluminum ready, it's time to prep the anthill. We'll do that by taking normal play sand and kind of reinforcing the hill itself. This gives me a barrier between the where I'm going to pour and the grass so I don't actually burn down the area. And it also lets me get a, a bigger uh, space to, to make a base so that when we dig it out it has something to stand on. For those of you that are curious, the aerial footage is coming from a DJI Phantom 3 Advanced. And no, they didn't pay me to say that, but I love this little thing. It's the coolest toy ever. Yeah, the ants are a little ticked off that I cut the roof off their house, but they're not nearly as angry as they're about to be. I'm adding light salt to the aluminum to flux and degas. Uh, there's a video on my, uh, my YouTube page under the playlist Little Sparks that explains why and how I'm doing this. Turn down the pressure on the propane tank, getting my pickup rings ready. I'll cut the gas off, pull the crucible, and pour the metal down the anthill.
What you're seeing there is not smoke, nothing's on fire. That's actually steam from the moisture in the sand in the ground. All that's left at this point is to give it about 20 minutes of sitting there before we try to dig it out. This is obviously sped up about 90 times actual speed. It took almost an hour to dig this thing out of the ground. The first few inches weren't bad, but about three inches below the surface was some good hard red clay, and it's probably been sitting there untouched for 100 years, and then I cooked it into pretty much a natural brick. You can kind of see towards the end, I'm not so much digging as I am just breaking the soil and then sweeping it out. Once it's finally freed from the ground, it's just a matter of attacking it with the garden hose until all the dirt is gone. Very successful and hill casting. I like this one, it's very tight, very intricate. Still quite a bit of dirt in there to clean out. This one worked out really well. About 15 inches tall. And it was about 13 inches across. Special thanks goes to Denise for being with me through every step of this process and doing most of the dirty work for me. Thank you.